Hello everyone, I'm Ify Burrito and welcome to another roguelike. <laughs> this time this one is called Moonlighter. I can't seem to stay away from these roguelike games. I, which is funny because I never really played them much before, but ever since I started making videos I can't seem to stay away from them. Let's see here, uh, hard is recommended, interesting. Now I'm kind of going into this game blind. I. Uh, haven't seen much gameplay, i just seen kind of bits and snippets. Among the stars of the night, there is a land of old. Something, something, something. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them dungeons. Strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon, a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. The Dendis Rayokna. Among the settlers, two groups shined brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as they were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of the Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeon. Uh, kind of reminds me of a... Uh, Sinbad a little bit with the dungeons. Now I've heard this game is like Reketeer, kind of like a revitalized Reketeer, which I've never played personally, but I've heard a lot of good things about. And I'm digging the animations in this game so far. They look so smooth compared to some other stuff I've played. Oh, this is the tutorial. Directional pad. Just showing me how to run, I guess. Okay. LT is to dodge roll. Okay. Look at these animations. They're so crisp. I like it. I can roll over. Okay. Can I jump? Okay. I guess not. Okay. Well, let me fall off the edge there. LT to. I guess roll over obstacles? Ow. Okay, that killed me right away. Whoops. Damn it, I, uh, lag. Interesting death animation. Dodge. Got it. Easy. First try. Okay, easy enough. I can tell me I can just dodge through everything. Oh, I can't dodge through that. Do I have a broom? Interesting. Uh, right trigger is to use my health potion, I'm assuming? Okay. I'm digging the style of this game so far. Very simple, but very clean. Open. What do we got? Hardened steel. Grab, hold, stack, back. Uh, quick move. Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't see what the other thing was. Fabric. Let me go back, please. Okay. Oh, I got a twig. Hell yeah. Treasure chest number two. I should probably pay attention to the tutorials at the top. I'm just kind of like flying through here. Foundry rests and more fabric. Okay. I'm sure I'll I'll figure out what any of this means later. Oh my god. Hello. What is this? Is a very rough start to a tutorial. No health potion. How am I? How is anyone supposed? To, is that supposed to happen? How? <laughs> I don't know how. It's just gonna throw me in there just like that. Oh, that falling animation is sweet. I'm digging the animations in this game. It really adds a lot. Xenon. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. I'm Deckard Kane! Just don't die on me, old man. That's all I ask. I, uh, Diablo 3 was a bit much for me to take in. 
Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you are curious of the dungeons. What does this even mean? What is this showing me? There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Who is old Pete? Tell me. Is that- am I wearing a hat or is my man's just like old as hell to you? Is everyone just have white hair? Morning, boy. He just got southern all of a sudden. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will. I guess my name is Will. Listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life in the fifth floor is nonsense. It's foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts and get... Oh, find some artifacts and use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. Why are you giving me tips on how to get out of the dungeon, old man, if you don't want me to go in? And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. But my broom is my trusty weapon. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Thanks, old man. Solid reference. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Sword and shield. It's just floating over to me. Look at that. Now then, get up. This old man is something else. He must be seen out. Like, don't go in those dungeons, boy. They're dangerous. But take this sword and shield. Just saying. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wink. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Now let's see if we can get you through. Let's see if I can get through that hard head of yours. I cannot read. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Oh yes, why sensei. This is what they mean. I sell stuff. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value, as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. Hold to open shop. Oh, hello, welcome to my store. I only have two rocks. I have an expensive rock. And a not so expensive rock. Oh, you cheap bastard. Get the expensive one. Oh, she's smart. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. What expression? The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Dude, everyone's loaded up with some shit. Oh, what's up? Big man. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, Charge higher when something is high in demand and low in supply. Okay. Economics lesson. Take out your merchant notebook and it should hold all the information. You have gathered undiscovered wares, artifacts, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, I can... Oh. So that's what this stuff is for. Uh. Oh, okay. It would appear that this energy surging through a golem crystallizes upon its destruction. Can I not read this faster? What seen the sun has fallen for the day. That was a fast day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory, that responsibility falls on you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can enter always. Oh, but one can always find better artifacts. I'm dyslexic as hell. <laughs> Just don't dive too far. And use that pendant, boy. Boy. 
boy. Go on now, these weary bones of mine must rest. Alright, we're moving fast now. Where where am I going though? Is this it? Oh, this is where I fell out of. Is there more? Oh, these are locked. I got some interesting symbols on them though. Desert dungeon. Only for heroes. I'm a hero. I'm the hero of this game. Dungeon available for merchants and heroes. Well, that's me, a hero. Oh, I just got zucked in there. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. I got a sword now, but I want my broom. Nothing in here, okay. Now, I've never played Reketeer. Uh, a lot of my friends did, but I never really paid attention to how it was going on. We're just a little shopkeeper selling stuff. Kind of the same premise as this game, but uh, if you have played it, let me know how it is. Oh god. Can I block? What does this do? Oh god. Hell yeah, give me those rocks. I want a new weapon. I want a big boy weapon. Oh. Oh god. Okay. Come on, Brian. You got this. I got some round rocks this time. Hell yeah. My favorite! Round rocks! I'm dying. I don't have any health potions. Why am I bad? I'm so bad at when it comes to... Oh, here, is this a big boy? A person of hopefully... To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from this strange creature across the room. My pendant. All but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out though, I'd say I fared better than he. Is this a different thing talking? He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which is this map diagram? Whatever it is, I was right! He called me crazy, he said, oh, crazy Pete. <laughs> Done, gone, lost his moral. Isn't Pete? I think we heard that name earlier, but I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them link to a giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth floor of Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. <laughs> but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth floor of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. God, this low health thing is... Big Boss gonna kill me! I was supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, uh, Big Boss gonna be so upset with little me. Oh, what is this? I saw him in that first dungeon, I assume, on the bottom left, and then I go through the mall and open up the big door. Easy. Oh, <gasps> hell yeah. Wait. Is it the pendant? God, this sound is so annoying. Maybe I shouldn't have took so much damage. Hold B, and I can walk back home. Oh, okay. I think that's what that's saying. Is this all that's here? But there's a tent. Gimme, give gimme. Give okay, let's go. Ooh, that... That's an interesting animation. Is this just telling me a recap? Okay, okay. I can dig it. Not the best uh, dungeon run I've ever done. But then again, I, I don't think I've done very many good dungeon runs in any game, so... Uh, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You you found old Pete? Dot dot dot. Ellipses. Dead ellipses? See, this is what happens when you chase 
behind with that door. Leave it, Will. Leave it, boy. Just get the artifacts you need from the golem dungeons and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in and attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Oh, you know, it's me, Jack Connie, the starter of uh, Patreon. Be nice to see uh, some new life in Renoka. Nice indeed. Who is this old man? Who do you think you are, Gramps? Okay, conveniently camera pan to this uh, pretty young thing right here. The people of Renoka are so accustomed to culture or artifacts from the dungeons. They have become part of our daily lives, even part of our food. Oh, this is what you're telling me to read. Not talk to the potential love interest number one. Town. What do you want? Is brute force getting nowhere in this dungeon? Visit the wooden hat to find out. Oh, to find potions and enchantments. Not enough money for that. What? Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that. Bring me money and materials to forge. Okay, interesting, interesting. Let me try the other option. No, not down. Not down. Shop. Items sold here have a discount. Small chest. Okay, I don't know what any of these do yet. Nor do I care. Boy. Ranoka has seen better days when your grandpa first opened Moonlighter. People from all over the lands would come to visit the shop. The hustle and bustle were constant now. Now what? What? Tell me! Dungeons. What? To be uh, quite honest, I don't even remember what that old man told me to do. Nothing important. Is this a camera? Cheese. Uh, should I open up shop again? Is that is that a thing I do? Oh, I do have my broom. Hell yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I can charge attacks. Hell yeah. I'll take out the trash. Oh, I can't charge these ones though. I don't know what I need to keep and what to sell. Masa, my son, when I find you. Oh, Will, have you seen Masa around by chance? I haven't, dude. I've, I don't know who anybody is right now, to be honest with you. Dungeons. I'm gonna do another dungeon. Because that seems like the reasonable thing to do. Because, uh, I don't... That old man told me to visit the board, but... I don't... I guess to see what those people had to offer. Oh, there's stuff inside the chest, uh, the bases. Who, who to thunk? I'm not taking damage this time, buddies. Uh, I'm a pro dungeon crawler now. Look at me. I don't know what that is. Oh god. Ooh, shiny or pointy sticks. Oh, that wasn't here the first time. Time to use the broom of truth. Yeah. Okay, well that broom was that's the worst thing. Oof, took some damage that time. Ooh. 
was this? Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chamber full of precious stone are left untouched. But rooms and chest holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Can I go swimming? What is this? Should I do this again? Did I miss something? Better rooms and chest holding our basic tools keep vanishing. Oh, these are some big slimes. Oh, get let go of me. Oh, that's not good. No. Good God. Can I make it the rest of this without taking damage? Who I don't know. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. I need to get out of here. Can I get out of here? Let me use my... Uh... This is one of the strange devices that creature dropped when he fled. This one's rich actually. Almost quite literally rich. For every item you place into this device, gold of some perceived value drops out. It's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch. The device looks like a mirror, so I'm just gonna call it the mirror. Keeping it simple, I do wonder though, where do the treasures dropped inside go? And am I getting the best deal here? Oh, I got an artifact, I think. Uh, okay, so this mirror allows me to find the value of something? Or it lets me turn it into gold. I think is what that's saying. Oh wait, oh no no no. Wait, why is it? I don't wanna... I'm trying to go home, I'm not trying to... sell my... things. Wait, what? I don't want to die. Is it going to make me sell all my stuff before? Okay, well, I uh, died and lost all my things anyway. I'm just gonna leave. Interesting that it made me put all my stuff in there without before I can leave. Tired of looking for items in dungeons? Leave that job to the others and come to La Retailier. Le, sorry. Oh, La Retailer. But well, you'll find the finest items in Renoka, the retailer, because life's complicated enough. Okay. So let's check out these people. You tell, or you sell enchantments and potions, and you sell weapons. Let's see if I, I want a new weapon, but I think I just lost like all my gold. Which is very fortunate of me. All these places are closed. That is wonderful. Can I go down here? Nope. Who are you? Will! I saw you in the golem dungeon earlier. Find anything mysterious? Nope, can't say- Oh, hello, little person. <laughs> you are snotty, dude. Dude, your mom is looking for you, Massa. Mesa? <laughs> Massa is not uh, something you would call somebody. 
Well, can we play tag next time I stop by your shop? Yeah, you can play tag with me anytime, buddy. Don't worry. Can't go this way. Turn back into this way. Oh, that is a waste of time. Okay, how do I get to these people? Vulcan's Forge, the Wooden Hat. I don't see any of these, like... Oh, maybe I complete these requests. And then it will open the shop. Am I, am I interpreting that right? 500 gold? Bring me enough money and materials. A forge can be... Rec a forge to be reckoned with. Oh, that's a pun. I get it. Ooh, 70 that What? What? Why are these grow so exponentially? Okay, let's try opening up the shop. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Oh, did I really lose all my items? yet so so this one priced at at 100 was enough but 200 it's too expensive so let's try oh my god is there no other oh I can go by the think Brian I can go by the decimal places except okay I'm gonna sell I'll put all these back and I'm gonna sell this one just one for let's try 200 let's see if that one's worth 200 and then hardened steel seems like it could be worth much right rich jelly man I'm really bummed out I should have opened the shop before I went back into uh, the uh, the dungeon fabric I feel like shouldn't be worth that much I'm sure everything is 200. It's like a benchmark. And then, uh, we'll see if we can raise or lower from there. Hey, is, uh, is that your friend, old man? He's coming to look, buddy? Come on, buy something. Fabric for 200? Okay, that's worth it. I can try raising that a little bit. Oh, now you want to shop? Okay, 200 for jelly is too much. Oh! Are you st oh, okay, I thought you were stealing it. Can I change the prices? This to 100. And then you just down to 100. 120. I'm gonna try and pinch these. These guys. 120 acceptable for that. Oh, apparently that is... I sold that steel for way too cheap. Okay, this isn't selling, obviously. Let's try 50 for this. Let's try one more of these. Let's try 500 for this deal. Because they apparently got a huge deal on that. Go more expensive for the fabric. Oops. I think because 200 was apparently. Or maybe 200 was like a. They were like satisfied with that price. Let's try 250. Nope, 250. Okay. And then a root. Let's try a root for 100. 200. Gotta start high and sell them. Okay, 
too much. Three hundred. Now come back. Two hundred for the stick. Too much. Okay, yeah, I figured. Worth it. All right. Yeah. 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 Fifty still so much for the jelly. Is it just not worth selling at this point? Okay. So I place all these. So for three hundred. Fabric was good. I'm not even gonna bother with these jellies. Like, no one wants these either. I have no idea what the price was at. So, oh, the day's almost over though. It's getting dark. Yeah, buy that whole stack. Yeah. I'm rich. Look at me. I got like two thousand almost. Oh, I'm about to have 2,000. Oh my gosh. Your boy's rolling in the dill. Oh, that's the shop closed. Shop's closed, guys. Get it. Scram. I'm broke. Or not broke. I'm out of stuff. 2620. That is uh, a lot more than I was expecting. That was awesome. I, was just, I thought that part was going to be like... Uh, I gotta do this shop mini game, but that was that was kind of cool. I don't like having to guess the prices, but I guess it's part of the game. Oh, I need a chest to put all that stuff in, so I don't lose my crap anymore. I mean, cash register useful. Cash register will entice customers. Add up to ten percent tip when paying. Ooh, more money. More health in the morning. These are like upgrades. Um, potions would be nice. I can buy both, right? Yeah, I can do both. Oh, what's up, buddy? What a rugged looking man. Okay, that's not even the guy. <laughs> okay, the other guy just magically appeared. He is huge! Look at him. He's like twice the size of Big Boy over here. He like dwarfs us. That guy's a goddamn giant. Okay, town. I'm gonna buy you too. Can I upgrade you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I did not mean to pause there. Sorry. I was trying to skip. Hey girl, hey. Grandpa! Adri. Hey. You must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge. My name is Adri. I feel like this guy is like a dwarf or something, but a huge dwarf. My name is Adri, Master Forge. Forge Master Extraordinaire. Why is he Russian? If his weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. <laughs> Uh, armor. I don't need no stinking armor. Give me, oh, big swords. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Big swords. Oh, I can get bows. Oh, I sold all my steel. Gloves? Are these like? Can I like punch people? Is that what this is telling me? Okay, I need steel for that. Can I make anything? Steel. Wood or something. I can make a bow, I think, right? No, I can't. Oh, I lost all my stuff. Oh. Okay, I have to find some more stuff. Well, uh, that wraps up our first episode of Moonlighter. I'm, I'm digging this game. I can't wait to play this some more, actually. But 
that's all I got time for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.